Uh, we've been doing a few events in September so far this year. Um, it's been great, and hopefully today goes well. Five, four, three, two, one. We're on the way. The 13th annual Greater Boston Walk Now for Autism Speak. This is the second event we've done with Autism Speaks. Uh, I've known Larry Cancro and, and our affiliation with, with Autism Speaks for the last seven or eight years. And, you know, the more we get involved, I know the more our players enjoy it. I know they understand the importance to it. And I know this self-satisfaction they get in helping people out and helping a cause like this. Years ago, in the uh, off-season uh, going into 2004, the BU hockey team was looking for a charity to, to make their official charity. And uh, uh, I happened to bump into Ed Carpenter, who told me about that. And he said, you should make a pitch to Jack Parker. So I did. And the team decided to pick this up as their official charity. And uh, they've been working with us ever since. And uh, it's been really a, a good partnership because um, the team has helped make a difference in, in, in our fundraising efforts and in our uh, efforts to raise awareness about autism. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always great to come to the Walk for Autism. I know we've done it every year that I've been here. and. Um, Every year you kind of feel more a part of it. It's uh, so great that you get to make people's day, stuff like that. But I think at the same time, like you see the kids and the people here, they kind of make our day. Both of us are kind of giving back and it uh, makes us feel great and them feel great too. Go Terriers! So I've been here since my freshman year. I'm a senior now. Uh, it's a great event. It's always growing. A lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of kids around, and it's, uh, it's great. I just love meeting all the kids, you know, having the table set up outside and inside and meeting all the kids and doing all the cool games and events. I think it's fun meeting all the families and parents as well. Obviously, I won't be here next year, so it's, uh, as much as I can do today, I'll get in and um, just try and meet as many people. And if there's anything that I could do, well, I'd love to do it because they're all, um, they're all great people and it's nice to meet them all. BU is actually one of the schools that's a leader in research for autism. So a lot of the dollars raised goes back to BU because it's one of the leading schools uh, to do research in this field. I think I'll always miss the hockey in college, but I think when you're at BU and you're a part of uh, Autism Speaks, you know how much it's a part of our team. And then I think I'll definitely miss it and try and always stay a part of it. And uh, no matter where my hockey career goes, I'll. Uh, always be a part of Autism Speaks. My original expectation was that uh, a lot of the players would look at this as a chore, but um, what I'm finding out is that, um, that they have such great hearts and do this with such great enthusiasm. So many of these players have gone on, some of them even to the pros, and they continue their work with us, and uh, it's really been very um, uh, gratifying. It's a cause in effect that is very severe in our world today and we all agree and we think that it's very important to be here and support the cause. It's always great being around kids and you can tell that they they really appreciate it. It's a great opportunity. It is early but um, it's always great to give back and for us to help it's uh, it's just something that, that I feel strongly about and I feel that we all should be doing.